hey, what language do you want to use? I mean, we could go with English or Japanese. I mean, there are other options, actually. Um, I mean, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with English. I mean, should I go with Japanese voice that language? It might be you know more uh, authentic. And I will go, we'll go with English. Here's the settings. Okay, so uh, there's no title screen, at least not yet. Uh, so I guess I'll just say that we are playing. We're trying out Monarch for an hour. Monarch is a tactical RPG that seems to really want to be Persona. That's what we're trying out. I'm not really a fan of when games try to be cute like this, where they don't give you like a title screen. Um, like I, I guess they have to give you the options right away. But this is just going to go straight into gameplay, which is why it's giving me this. Also, what is this? I mentioned I've mentioned before that I don't like this kind of brightness setting, but this is like the weird weirdest one I've seen so far. It says adjust so that the dark part of the school emblem is faintly visible. What would you say is the dark part? Is it the black background? Because I could turn the brightness up all the way, and that is still black. So it can't be talking about that. I could turn it down all the way. Hey, that's still black. There's no difference. Uh, so aside from the black, it looks like there are two shades of gray. There's a light gray and a dark gray. Is it, does it mean the dark gray? Should I turn the brightness down so I can barely see the dark gray? That's, that's as low as it goes, and I can still see that dark gray pretty clearly. So we're not doing that. We're, we're just going to keep it like this. You know, I'm, not, I'm just something's occurring to me. I, I need to check to see if the audio device got switched on me again. It happens sometimes. Just, just, give, me, give me a sec. Give me a sec. I need to see. I need to see. Okay, I just had to test. I did have... My my VR headset plugged into this computer a little while like a t earlier today. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. I just had to make sure that it hadn't checked hadn't changed the audio device to that because it likes to do it. Casual mode? Do I want it on or off? Well, you know, we're just trying this out for an hour. Will we even get to combat? It's hard to say. Your own person, to have your own ego. And don't give in to what others call normal. That's right. You laugh at me because I'm different. I laugh at you because you're all the same. Only you can defend your will and desires, your beliefs and morals. That's not, well, no. I mean, usually people get together in what's called a voting block to vote in representatives who represent your beliefs and morals. I mean, that's it's kind of a common thing. Because in this unjust world formed of incomplete thoughts... Your ego is what makes you who you are. Should the world deny your ego and refuse to accept it, then prove to the world that you live by your own rules. This sounds like a shooter's manifesto. What, what kind of moral are we doing here? Are you awake? Then show me. Show me your ego. Goodness, we just met. Oh no! Skeletons! They got, they got swords. I know that's bad. Okay, we're starting off with combat. Uh, select a location to perform an action from. Okay, well, let's get close to the skeleton, I guess. Action, arts, slash, to skeleton. Hit is 95%. That should be good. Uh. Ow. 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 Well, I can I can Ow. It didn't work out. I was not able to show my ego. Oh, maybe I'm not the protagonist after all. Another failure. What a shame. Uh, the world truly is a cruel and irrational place. Ow. And this little one just isn't good enough. Maybe you should have turned casual mode on. 
Meanwhile, I'm going to be late for homeroom. I want to see someone running in with toast in their mouth. Give that to me. Do it. I want to see someone running. Oh no, we're not getting that, I guess. I guess we're getting introduced to our cast of eclectic characters that have traits and idiosyncrasies. Who do you want to romance? I mean, I'm assuming that there's going to be that. You look at this game, you can assume that there's going to be romance options. I mean, we're only playing for an hour, so I don't know if I'll be proven right, but... Yeah. Yeah. One day, the sky turned to a dome. And then Miasma started spreading out. We were trapped in the school. Get out of my head, Charles! Oh, got the pink eye. Got to get the red out. Hopefully the nurse's office has some eye drops. Oh, we're alive. Well, Mr. New Student. Your name, if you would. I mean, I don't know... I guess I can just use my keyboard. I don't know why you're asking me when you just said what my name is. Is this like some kind of power play? Fine. Mm, I see. How terribly charming. That's a wonderful name. Come on, you use a voice synth to make her say the name. I see, that's terribly charming. New student? That's a wonderful name. Welcome to Shin Mikado Academy. I am Yoru, otherwise known as your dean. Are you like five years older than me? Now, now, you can let your guard down. I just wanted to chat is all, especially with someone as extraordinary as you. I were extraordinary. I'm going to ask you a few questions. They'll pertain to your ego and the seven desires that make up your will. Uh, I remember when they asked me this in school. What does school life mean to you? Only, I mean, there's, there's got to be more than just two options. I wouldn't say that mine was really either of these, but I guess it would have leaned more towards enjoying my youth. Well, you only live once. How about in class? That, they do indeed say YOLO. It's ancient wisdom. Do you studiously take notes during lectures? I don't know about studiously, but, you know, I might write some down. Your teacher lauds the teacher's pet despite their bad grades. What do you think of this? I mean, that never really happened. I can't really think of there being a teacher's pet. Or a teacher, like, I don't know, heaping praise on anyone. Or uh, conversely, calling people out for bad grades. Eh, they don't deserve it, I guess. Like your friend is about to mess something up. What do you do? I stay out of it. You're standing in line for, hmm, let's say ramen. Mm hmm Someone cuts in front of you, but you've been waiting for ages. What do you do? This is a trick question, because I would not have been waiting in the line to, to begin with. I have better things to do with my life than wait in line. 
Um, I'll, I'll be ve or very passive aggressive at them. You need money to fulfill your goals, but you're flat broke. What do you do? Uh, well, we can give up. Giving up is nice and easy. Have you ever looked at a naughty website? On your phone? Or your desktop, maybe? I mean, on those two devices? Many others. Probably your computer as well. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. Okay, let's say you're at a buffet. How do you decide what to eat? I'm not that picky. A situation has already been settled, but someone insists on disagreeing. How do you respond? Let them let him run their mouth. Someone you hate is loved by everyone around you. What do you think about that? I mean, I don't really, I don't really hate people. You know, you try not to obsess about things like that. You're forced to take on a leadership role. How do you make your decisions? Are these really the only two options for this? Either be a tyrant or clueless? I guess I'll lean towards clueless. Would you say you've ever truly loved someone? No. If you had extra free time and money, how would you spend it? I do have those, and I don't actually change my life with it. What would you do if someone started spreading baseless rumors about you? Uh, I, I don't see the option to confirm it and let everyone know that I am that guy and what are you going to do about it. I don't see anything like that. Eh, let it happen, I guess. Is there someone or something you care for with every fiber of your being? No? Choose one of these sets of words, would you? Um, I mean, you probably want to lean towards, like, the more positive side. Your desire for lust surpasses all others. I knew that. Both love and be loved. I didn't need you to tell me that. You value your relationships with others more than anything else in life. That is not true. You're more influenced by your feelings, motivations, and connections with people. That's really not true. Emotions vary depending on who's around. Well, not my emotions, but I am kind of a chameleon at just kind of change to adapt to whoever I'm speaking to. So my manner of acting and talking and uh, reacting is just kind of an imitation of whoever it is I'm speaking with. Hmm. It seems your desires are a bit lacking somehow. What desires you do have are strong, but you appear to lack balance. Are you afraid of wanting things? None of your desires should be neglected, you know. No, I mean, some desires should be neglected. It's important to know that sometimes you might have desires that you really shouldn't try to bring about into reality because maybe it's just be entirely too dangerous. Uh, some people don't have that don't have that sort of filter and they feel like, hey, I want to do this. So why not? I, I should be able to do this because I want to, and why shouldn't I be able to? And I think that just ends up causes that causes a lot of problems in the world. Having having the um, I guess the self knowledge and the self the self control to say I might want that, but I shouldn't have that. I think that's important for someone to be able to to be aware of. Without desires, your ego can't grow. Without an ego, you're no different from a doll. I want you to live as your own being as you attend this academy, and be cognizant of your desires. All right, I'll be cognizant of my desires. I don't know, I mean, what if I don't want to, like, study? Should I be cognizant of that? What if I don't want to get good grades? I understand you so terribly well now. I never get to chat with others this much. It's nice. Yeah. I, I guess it's nice. Life at the Academy may be tough, but I know you'll be able to adapt to it right away. Let's speak again if our paths cross. Yeah, I'll speak. I'm expecting great things from you. Say it. Say my name. Yes, we will speak again. I will say many things. And I don't. Th I think I should adapt quite quickly. Uh, I will be the student who doesn't say anything or visibly or audibly react to anything, but everyone will think I am just the coolest for some reason, and people will be just magnetically attracted to me. I will make lots of friends, and many of them will want to become more than friends, despite me being like completely silent and emotionally distant. 
It's f weird how that works. Ta -ta. Wake up. Please, open your eyes. Uh, 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 uh. He seems all right. Yeah. You're okay. You're really okay. <laughs> Please stop crying into my stomach. My soak is my shirt is getting soaked. Can you stand? All of your bodily moisture is now going into my shirt. As far as whether I'm okay. I don't know if my eyes are supposed to be red, or if it's just anime. The mist is too thick. Let's move. Uh, oh, we got- we're- got a party. Is she following me? Where are you going? Uh, I- Alright, sure. Alright, so we're going this way. We're in our tutorial gameplay. Stop. Hold up. Out of breath this this soon? It was like 20 feet. I'm beat. I think I'm actually dying. Can't go on. It's all this miasma in the air. Can't you're not breathing any good air. You're out of breath already? We barely moved. You really should exercise more often, Dr. Kakeru. Who's got the time? I'm a weak old man. You trying to kill me? Uh, was it Nozama, was it? It's Nozome Hinata. You work here. The least you can do is remember the students' names. Yeah, there are a lot of students, though. Hey, I'm a doctor, not a teacher. Besides, I'm more used to calling you Prez anyway. So much has happened. I couldn't find you for a week. You have no idea how worried I was. You were searching the school for a week? I'm so glad you're okay, though. When we heard a student collapsed on the second floor, I never imagined it'd be your brother, Chio. The second year building is connected to this one. Maybe he came from over there. Hey, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? Oh hell yes! We've got amnesia! Who- who are you? That's not very funny. This is no time to be joking, you know. Wait, you really can't remember? Yes, I'm feeding from the giant slop bucket of anime cliches. Pour more in. Huh? What's your name? You remember that much at least, right? Uh, call me New Student. Wait, Chio, I thought your last name was Aikawa. Um, well, our family isn't exactly a traditional one. If you know what I mean. See. You do? Can you remember anything besides your name? Family, friends, anything about the school? Anything at all? Nope. No bells are ringing. No. <laughs> oh no, dear sister's got the tuberculosis, probably. I'll bet whatever made him collapse is also the cause of his amnesia. Well, the mist does tend to drive people crazy. We don't know much about it, 
It's bad for people with weak respiratory systems, though. Like Chico here. <sighs> My name is Chio. But despite all that, your little sis came all the way here to see you. She wouldn't take no for an answer. You understand what I mean? Was there some sort of implication to that? Man, you forget your manners too? You're the last person I want to hear chastising people over their manners, Dr. Kakeru. The least you could do is thank her. Oh, that's what you're getting at. Okay. Thank you, Chiyo. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Say it. Well, we've had our little breather. Let's move. We should hurry on out of here. There's no mist on the first floor. It'll be safer there. The mist rises? Does it doesn't fall? All right, he's out of breath again. Mad 1%. Mad 2%. My mad is increasing. A phone call? But we've had no service this entire time. Who could possibly be calling right now? Maybe it's someone from the outside. Maybe they'll be able to help us. Wait! Don't pick up that phone! Hello? Oh no! Someone's trying to dial into AOL. My head hurts. Everyone, stay close! It's 56k bot! Oh no, we've been sucked into the AOL. Where are we? Chio. Dr. Kakeru, is Chio all right? I'm going to say no. Don't worry. She's just unconscious. Oh, well, if she's only unconscious, then there's no problem, I guess. Huh? What the? Those students don't have any skin. Just a little impaled. And leave you behind? Not a chance. It'll be fine. Staying right here with you. Don't be stupid. You're just gonna get us all killed. I don't care. I'm not going to let you sacrifice yourself. Shit. Watch out! Who are you? Tremble in delight. I am the abyss. 
I am one and I am all. The world and the self, ephemeral, eternal. All right, he chose Abyss. And so, too, do I hold your destiny. I just grab him by the ears. Wait, unhand me, you uncouth, unkind underling. The impudence instantly interrupting my interlude. We did ask a question. He actually has not uh, answered us as of yet. <sighs> Hurtful heathen, deranged devil, sadistic, sadist. You may refer to me as Vanitas. Lend me your power. Hey, can you at least pretend to be petrified? You really put me off my game here, pal. Power is not a present to be provided. Pacify your predicament personally. These dastardly dissidents are demons. Lackeys of their lowest level. Legions. I wonder if he's going to talk like that for the entire game. It seems like it would be a little bit of a challenge for all of his... If, assuming he's a major character throughout the game, and assuming this is a lengthy game... But even the lowliest legion would leave a lackwitted lug like you lifeless. I, however, possess a plethora of power. Prostrate before me and pray I spare you. Show me the delightful sight of your struggle to survive this plight, and I just might. Hey! Have you heard even one single word I've said? Go at them unarmed, and you're as good as dead. You are utterly deranged. Can't you just let me give you my cryptic, mystical spiel? A facade with no memories within expectation, but no manners or sense of self-preservation? Enough! Dealing with you is giving me a headache. I cannot lend you strength, but I can still assist. After all, Fate is static. It'll always persist. <sighs> oh, oh, my arteries. <sighs> Ow. <laughs> Did you turn into a Digimon or something? is in a magic ear. Your soul made manifest. You'll need it in the other world to make it through the rest. Ah, a magic ear. That's a much better name. The power of vanity is yours for the taking. A reflection of your ego, a fiend of your making. Ooh, the fiend of lust. That's correct. My lust is very powerful. Now go and kill those things already. All right, can I defeat the skeletons now that I am in my Imagic gear and have my lust skeleton? All right, uh, L stick, move between units, LB, RB, switch between units, A to pull up command list. Phase ends, okay, but yeah, you say. Get ready. Tempting. Gather my resolve. Tempting. I can snipe, uh, but hmm. Is that really just the range I have for snipe? That's not. I wouldn't. I would not expect it to be that small for sniping.
Share authority, status elements, stat alterations with one ally. Did it. Killed the skeletons and we're following our own star. My greed increased. Wonderful. Do I get to keep my lust skeleton? Can I keep can I take it to class? Can it take notes for me? Or is it just like a thing I use in battle? Your calls, your cheering cries. Return to your world now. Go claim your prize. I, yeah, everyone. I didn't hear you like cheering me on or anything. There was a distinct lack of that. Well, one is start explaining. <laughs> I don't take orders from you. With that, farewell and adieu. Bring your ego and power to bear. Against the irrational and unfair. We're out of here. Someone picked up the phone and disconnected us from AOL. Oh, opening credits. That was the prologue. Now we're fully invested in the story. Well, at least we did get to credit. Uh, sorry, uh, combat fairly quickly. Man, the whole uh, gaining power thing looks very painful. You get a headache and then your organs explode out of you. Act one. Nozomi Hinata. Very dramatic. Savior. Is the doctor still injured or did his injury go away when we teleported? This is... the Academy? We made it back. Is everyone all right? Yeah, he's fine. Perfectly fine. Just a little bruised. Yeah, those were just fake injuries that happened in the, in the, the online dimension. The modem dimension. Ah, uh, sorry, you guys. That was just my narcolepsy. Huh? Wait. What happened to me? 
don't move yet. But I'm totally fine. What are you so worried about? You've been unconscious ever since you answered that weird phone call. I'll take Chio to the infirmary. You two go on down for now, okay? All right. Let's get going then. We can talk about the other world later on. And what were you doing on the second floor, former student council president Hinata? Hello, Kurama. I thought I declared any areas overrun with mist off limits. I await your explanation. Who's this guy? You there, do not interrupt me. Or do you truly have no idea who I am? Then allow me to debrief you. After the mist, barrier, and other anomalies appeared, the last student council tried to dispel the chaos with the faculty. And yet, said chaos has only increased. It was then that a savior appeared to quell the unrest, rallying the students with his overwhelming charisma. That savior is none other than I. President Kurama Hitotsubashi. Hinata was relieved of her duties, and at the behest of all, I took on the mantle of student council president. So what say you, Hinata? How does it feel to see how much more capable I am in comparison? It's true. I was inadequate for the demands of the office. I commend you on acknowledging your inferiority. Now, why did you enter the mist? Well... He collapsed within the mist, so you ventured in to save him. And this was with Dr. Kakeru Hasegawa and Chio Aikawa? Yes. I see. So you placed both the Academy's doctor and a middle school student in peril. Your foolishness astounds me. You should have come to me. As your student council president, I would have rescued him in a safer manner. <laughs> you may no longer hold the position yourself, but you still set a poor example by behaving this way. I believe some discipline is in order. What say the rest of you? Agreed! <laughs> Pardon the interruption. But would you mind if I borrowed this young man and Miss Hinata? We have urgent matters to discuss. Well, well. If it isn't Ms. Sora Jingu, our beloved Dean. Sora? Yes, that is my name. Is something the matter? You! Did I not warn you about interrupting me? Dean Jingu, we must consider impeaching Hinata for violating Academy regulations. Impeaching? Of course, it truly breaks my heart to punish one of my peers, but order must be maintained in our academy. Hmm. 
No further action will be required at this time, Mr. Hitotsubashi. Thanks to you, of course. And not just from me. The rest of the faculty and student body are all very grateful to you. I'd hate to see you suffer from the guilt of punishing your peers, even if it was done out of responsibility. Surely it'd be fine to let it go this once. <laughs> As you wish, I'll leave it at that. We wouldn't want my judgment clouded by grief, after all. Come along, everyone. To the student council room. Yes, yes, sir. Remember, Hinata, there won't be a next time. Well, that takes care of the rank and file. Why don't we have a chat in that empty classroom? I see. So you were dragged into the other world after answering a phone call in the mist. Hmm. There's just one thing I need to know. How exactly did you... How did they flee the other world and make it back to here? Is that the question you seek to ask, oh woeful overseer? demon? No. A monarch? How did you get into this academy? I am the answer for which you strive. Vanitas, the being who helped them survive. A demon? Helping? Hmm. <laughs> so that's how it is. Did you make a pact with a demon in exchange for power? An authority, so to speak. Um, it was a little unclear about if some sort of deal was made or not. I did get a, ske a lusty skeleton. And what did you wish for? I didn't actually make a wish. Beset by the legions with nothing to give. No wonder he asked for the power to live. So you weren't actively seeking to become a Pact Bearer. I sense that someone managed to return for being drawn into the other world, but this, I never imagined. To think a new Pact Bearer would emerge as a result. If I may ask, what sort of authority did you receive? The authority of vanity. I've never heard of that. Perhaps it's an aberration of some sort. You're surprisingly knowledgeable about all this demon and otherworld stuff, Miss Sora. That I am. But extenuating circumstances prevented me from talking about them before. These secrets are normally reserved for the head of the Jingu family, as is the position of Academy Dean. However... Seeing as you already know, there's no point in hiding things any further. I'll answer any questions you have. Alright, let's get some exposition. What's the other world? There is a metaphysical plane that exists separately from the physical world, ascertainable only via cognition alone. That is the realm you visited. The other world. What, what are the demons? Demons are supernatural beings that live in the other world. They feed off the egos of humans. What do you what do you mean by pact? What is the meaning of this strange word? There are seven demons known as monarchs, one for each sin. As progenitors of lesser demons, they are of the highest order. If they make a pact with someone, they are then able to provide their pact bearer with an authority. In order to make a pact, one must have a cause, 
a strong ego, the ability to perceive the other world, and a wish. But vanity is an aberration. It isn't one of the deadly sins. Your pact with that monarch was incidental at best. There's nothing more I have to ask. I think that covers everything. Consider a far-fetched goal. Curing an incurable illness, for example. Reality can't be changed no matter how hard you wish. But if someone learned that the power to overturn reality existed, would they be able to resist temptation? Even if such power came from demons and gave rise to widespread distortions. Distortions? Powers from the other world are against the natural order. Continued usage of them will cause our world to distort. The mist, the barrier around the academy, the calls from the other world, all are byproducts of a pact bearer's authority. So please, unless the situation demands it, I ask that you avoid using your authority on campus. The Jingu family has maintained balance in the world ever since the Academy's founder discovered the existence of demons. We've attempted to prevent the emergence of new Pact Bearers at any cost. And yet they've appeared regardless. We are currently aware of at least seven others. Avoiding their Pacts is the only way to put a stop to these anomalies and restore normality. Might I ask you to use your powers for the welfare of our academy? I believe a pact bear of your circumstances would be perfect for this task. Please, bear with me. Your compliance would be appreciated. Yeah, sure, why not? You have my thanks. <sighs> now then, would you prefer a detailed explanation on how to void the packs? Or will the gist of things suffice? Uh, probably, you know, just give me a little summary. While exploring the mist in the Academy, you will receive calls that connect you to the other world. There, you will find crystals known as ideals. Shatter them, and it will render the Pact Bearers powerless. Though it pains me to ask this of a student, the fate of our Academy is in your hands. <laughs> Good luck. Mr. Vinitas, I would appreciate if you concealed yourself around any students who are unaware of the situation. Your appearance would cause a great deal of panic, to put things lightly. I'm here for the boy, so don't worry your head. My only concern is what road he will tread. I'll take that to mean you intend to behave. These are reference materials about demons, pact bearers, and the other world. Give them a read when you get the chance. I'll I'll pour over them. Registered packs, the other world, on demons, demon ranks, monarchs, nobles, and legion. Volumes of the Cromwell records in library. I'll be taking my leave now. Chaos never ends, does it? No, it's a thrill a minute around here. Oh, right. Endless roller coaster. My name is Nozomi Hinata. I'm a third year here at the Academy. Thank you for your help in the other world. You're the reason we were able to make it back safely. When you defeated the Legion Horde, you earned some spirits as a reward. You can use them to upgrade your power's effects or for items to use in your other world treks. Speak to me should you ever seek to spend your spirits. All right, you can spend spirits to craft items and dismantle items. Oh, it's a crafting system. It's just a crafting system. I did it, I, cr I did the craft. If 
you're going to travel through the mist and fight the Pact Bearers, would you mind if I came along? I can't fight like you do, but I might be able to help in some other way. What other way? You just stood there during the skeleton fight. I just don't want you to carry this burden all on your own. Sure. Thank you. The mist is spreading upward through the second floor of the building. Why don't we head to the infirmary first? We should explain things to Chio and Dr. Kakeru. Fast travel. But why would we want to fast travel and miss the possibility to talk to fellow students? Oh god, oh god, what's happening? What's going on? What should we do? Dude, Shinge, quit blowing out. Oh, that's the other guy. Dude, Shinge, quit blowing out my eardrums and get yourself together. Panicking won't change anything. Sure as hell won't make it better. We gotta stay calm and keep an eye on the situation. Yeah, yeah you're, you're right, Yuichiro. Easy does it, Shinji. Deep breaths. <sighs> I only left the club uh, building to come get you, but now we're stuck. God, I hope the rest of the baseball club is okay. Alter egos. Uh, students with might leave crystals around, and if you find them, you know I don't know. If you find them, you need your ego to be at a certain level to gain the crystal. things over with these two. I'm sorry. It's all my fault for answering that call. You never answer calls on the cell phone. You just assume everything is a scam. <laughs> Look, if it was important and if it was legitimate, they would text you. The fact that they're calling is a red flag right away. Chio, I've decided I'm going to help your brother out. I want to do whatever I can. Whatever that is. I've decided I'm going to help him in some unspecified way. Maybe it'll come up at some point. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to help him at this point in time. We'll s Maybe I'll figure it out at some point. Thanks, Nozomi. I'll feel better knowing you're with him. Of course. And, uh, maybe there's something you can do too, Chio. I'm sure the newspaper club's ace reporter would be a great help in gathering intel. Oh, I never thought of it that way. Okay, sure. I'll give it my all. Don't forget about your pal, the school doctor. You ever feel sick or hurt? Come pay me a visit. Why, that's what doctors are for. It's true. I never thought about it that way. Thank you, everyone. I'll support you to the best of my ability. I'm counting on all of you to work as a team. A team? Hmm. It's almost like we're in a club then. Maybe we should come up with a name. Wow, it's like our very own school club. Sure, why not? Sounds fun. Well, since Nozomi's part of the group, the True Student Council. What? That way, you'll get to be president again. Is that how it works? Shadow president? Perfect. Means I can keep calling her Prez. Makes things easier for me. Dr. Kakeru, would you please shut your mouth? 
A fitting name, if you ask me. At two, Miss Sora? My brother can be the vice president, then. It's not like there are any other candidates. Vice Prez, huh? Easy enough for me. You've got my vote. You just don't want to bother remembering anyone's names. It's settled then. You are hereby instated as president and vice president of the TSC. You have my approval as dean. Seriously? It's an emotional roller coaster figuring out the name of our team. I'm I'm glad we were able to get through this and figure out what we should be what we, what we should call ourselves. The current council was taken over by Mr. Hitotsubashi and his entourage. Many students wish you were still in charge. It isn't just Miss Aikawa and me. The other students believe in you as well, Miss Hinata. <laughs> Very well. I accept the position. Let's put our best foot forward, Vice President. <laughs> Glad to see you're taking to it. Now then, I have other matters to attend to, so I'll be on my way. Okay then, seeing as you two are already here, how's about I go ahead and get you checked up? You know, when they when they said we were going to name our team, I thought that I was going to type in a name. No, it was just a conversation. About, they already had the name. It was just a conversation about it. Alright, that about covers it. We go, we got pills. My mental stabilizer. Not much I can do about your amnesia, though, Vice Prez. All we can do is hope it's only temporary. Anyway, you're welcome to stop by any time. You got any health issues, I'm your man. You hear? Well, it was auto-saving, which is good because we reached the end of our hour of monarch um yeah i'm sorry half the stuff i want to anymore with this rickety old body what stuff we talking about Lord. what's what's the, what i can't believe i've got too much time on my hands me of all people i want to talk about what is it that you can't do anymore with this rickety old body what is it you're looking to do huh huh hmm? well like i said that's our hour um feel like starting to go to sleep a little bit in this last uh, half hour i suppose <laughs> yep there we go i i hear ya i i hear that one of the beds once everyone's gone i hear that doc that's that's how i'm feeling after playing an hour of monarch um it's ju just some pure uncut anime tropes for your pleasure i noticed that we never asked what's to deal with the mist is that weird Sh half the stuff I want to anymore with this rickety old body. Why did our character not ask what was happening? Why was there mist? Time on my hands. Why were we trapped in the school? Like, that That subject never actually came up. That seems like something that we would have wanted to ask about. We did not. Uh, okay, we went to the other world, we fought skeletons, we became a persona, and we got our lusty skeleton. Uh, that's... And they, they established the premise as I guess there are seven other seven other personas that represent the deadly sins. So you gotta go smack them around and dis like dis like separate them from their demons. Uh, and then we can end the distortion and I guess that's going to end the mist. I suppose that's what's I think I guess that's what's happening in in the school. I can't do half the stuff I want to anymore with this rickety old body. Uh, so bored. This is this game is of a genre. Of, this is a genre of game where, I mean, if if you know you if you want it, you already know you want it. I mean, it's it's always kind of funny to me when I see something that is just extreme cliche with like absolutely no, like there's no desire. <laughs> to insert anything different or original in it. Skip out on work and take a nap on one of the beds once everyone's gone. It's it's quite remarkable. 
uh, when you see a work like that. And that's that's what Monarch seems to be. Uh, you already know what this is. You already know how it goes. You probably already know how the story ends. You don't actually need to play the game to know how that. this is going to progress. Because you've seen it many times before. That's our look. Too much time on my hands. Me, of all people. That's our look at Monarch on the PC.